Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Judge, welcome. Congratulations on your nomination once again. Thank you very much, Senator. Uh, tell this committee, in, in your judgment, what makes a good judge? You know, there's, there's many features. You, you, you want a judge who has integrity. You want a judge who has independence. You want sound judgment. I think a good working knowledge of the law is also very important. Judges that are patient and are careful listeners to both the litigants and the parties before them are all very strong ingredients to being a good judge. How does the role of district judge differ from an appellate judge? Yeah, the, the district judge, there's a lot of action in district court. Uh, things come in on a daily basis that when you go into work the morning, you aren't expecting to have happen. And a lot of decisions have to be made very quickly. And, and that really tests a district judge to, to get up to speed and to make quick decisions. Uh, the Court of Appeals has the benefit of time and reflective, uh, reflection, the ability to collaborate with colleagues and, and, and to set precedent for a circuit. And so, so there's a difference in terms of maybe the time needed to make decisions. And, and I think it's my aspiration, if I'm fortunate to be a circuit judge, to use that time well and to produce results that are binding precedent on the third, for the Third Circuit that are clear and that are useful to district judges so that when they have to make decisions without the benefit of the same time that appellate judges always have, they will be able to follow those and they'll be able to know what circuit precedent it is. Are there current uh, appellate judges whom you particularly admire? Uh, yes, there's, there's, there's a number. Uh, I admire different attributes about many many different federal judges. I will start with Judge Cole, for whom I clerked, who, who treats people with just phenomenal dignity and respect. Earlier in my career, I had the chance to, to work at the same law firm as Judge Jeff Sutton in the Sixth Circuit, who is a brilliant thinker and brilliant writer. I've read the opinions. I have not met these judges, but in administrative law, I've read the opinions of Judge Silberman, who really tries to get to the bottom of issues, and I just have a lot of respect for that. I've seen Judge Centel conduct oral argument in the DC Circuit, and it just, I would recommend that to any law student or anyone because those are, are vibrant oral arguments. Uh, there's a number of great Third Circuit judges that I very much look forward, hopefully, to being colleagues with. How would you define a judicial activist? I think a judicial activist is a, a judge who places their own personal beliefs, their own personal opinions above precedent or above statute or above the rule of law and implements those personal beliefs as law in, or in reaching results. And is it ever appropriate or acceptable to be a judicial activist? As, as I've defined it, Senator, no. I will always put my personal opinions aside and follow the rule of law, binding precedent, and the statutes of, of the federal statutes and the statutes of the states in the Third Circuit. Thank you. Well, thank you.